This is Hello OSGI. Let's take a look and see how we're able to create our first project using OSGI. So installed my LifeRate Developer Studio. Make sure you have that taken care of first. Everything is started up. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the welcome window here. We're going to click File, followed by New, and then we're going to head down to Other. So File, New, followed by Other. In the search bar in the wizard, I'm going to type plugin. And then we're going to scroll down and look for plugin project. All right, once you have plugin project selected, we're going to go ahead and click next. We have to give this project a name. We're going to call this hello dash OSGI. All right, next up, we're going to be looking for the radio button that corresponds with an OSGI framework. So we're going to click on that radio button right here next to an OSGI framework. Once we do, we're going to click on the drop down and then we're going to select standard. Okay, so hello OSGI or hello dash OSGI is going to be the name of the project. And then we're making sure that for the target platform, we've selected an OSGI framework and then selected standard. Once you've confirmed those things, go ahead and click next. Next up, we're going to change the ID. So following the instructions here, the ID is going to be com life rate training. Hello, OSGI. Next thing here is going to be the name. So instead of hello dash OSGI, we'll remove the dash and then it'll just be hello OSGI. We're going to be generating an activator just to see how this works for us. We have this give this activator a name. So we're going to give it a package over in com dot dot training dot hello dot OSGI. And then the activator itself will be hello bundle activator. So calm life ray training, hello OSGI, hello bundle activator. One more screen here. Let's go ahead and click next one more time. I'm going to check the box here for create plugin, create a plugin using one of the templates. We're going to be selecting the hello OSGI bundle. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click next. If you want to change the start message and the stop message, feel free to do so. Feel free to be creative with it. Otherwise, once you're done, go ahead and click finish. It's going to ask us if we want to change the IDE to open it up in a different perspective. Uh, these perspectives gives us tabs and quick shortcuts to be able to function a little bit better depending on what we're doing. If you want to click on open perspective, feel free to do so. I personally like the perspective that we're already in. So I personally like to say no. It's going to create the plugin for us. And very good. Congratulations. We have created our first OSGI bundle. Now, next up, we're going to be seeing this bundle in action. But before we do, let's take a couple of quick looks at uh, some key files. So right now we are at the manifest.mf file. If you click on the manifest.mf tab, that's a little bit down here below, you can see all of the different headers that are being utilized within this OSGI bundle. Again, you want to take note of the symbolic name and the version number that makes up the unique qualifier of our bundle. Right. There's some other things here along the way, but again, I just want to highlight those two. So we have our bundle created. Let's go ahead and take a look and see it in action. So up here at the top, we're going to be looking for run, right? Once you find run, go ahead and click it. And then we're going to be selecting run configurations. So run followed by run configurations. From here, we're going to be scrolling down and we're looking for OSGI framework. You'll see a couple of different ones there. The one that you want is the one with the, what looks like a target. So kind of an orange uh, circle with what looks like a crosshair. Once you find that, go ahead and double click it. And we'll wait a few moments here. First thing we want to do is change the name of the framework, quote unquote. So instead of new configuration, I'm going to call it training. So training is going to be the name. Once we have that over here on the right hand side, 
I'm going to click deselect all. Once we have that, we're going to be selecting six bundles that we're going to be working with. So the first one that we want to work with is the Hello OSGI. Uh, that's the whole reason we are doing this. So we're going to select that one. And then the rest of them, I'm going to look for them. So the first one is going to be org.eclipse.osgi. All right, org eclipse OSGI, have that selected. The next one is still under org eclipse. It's going to be equinox.console. Right, so I have this one right here. So we have three selected so far, three more to go. Right, the next ones are going to be under org.apache. All right, so org Apache Felix Gogo. Once you have that typed out, we're going to have three results. Go ahead and select all three of those results. So just to make sure we have everything right, you're going to end up with six. So over here, I have six. And then once you're good to go, right, we'll go ahead and we will click apply just to make sure that the changes that we're going through are indeed applied. We have one more thing that we want to do here. Right next to this bundles tab, we're going to be selecting arguments. And then at the very end, we're going to add one more argument. It's going to be dash clean. We'll click apply one more time. Again, just solidifying the changes that we have made. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and click close. So we have our framework ready to go. The last thing we will do in order to see this in action, let's go ahead and right click Hello OSGI, head down here to run as, and then we're going to select OSGI framework. We have the console here, and then you're going to see the hello world printed out, right? The hello world is printed out once the bundle is activated or started, right? So to see that, if you head over to the source folder, followed by the package, we have the bundle activated. We'll go ahead and open that up. Once the bundle is started, it prints hello world. And then if I stop the bundle, stop, let's get a little bit more complicated here. I'm going to type uh, LB for list bundle. We see the bundle is number one. So if I type stop followed by number one, it stops it and gives us goodbye world. We'll see that in another exercise again, but I just wanted to show you that it's kind of a sneak peek. So very good. Congratulations. Not only have we created our very first bundle, but we've also got to see it deployed and run into the OSGI framework. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.